hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today I'll show you how to create a grid view um, using the orientation builder so the speciality of this orientation builder is that you can decide how your grid looks in the portrait mode and how many images should it display in the landscape mode so right now I have the basic template which just displays an ad bar and a theme color so we'll start building the orientation builder now so so we have the ad bar so after the ad bar we have the body section and in the body section we're going to write the orientation builder so the first thing this builder is gonna have is the two parameter one is the context and another is the orientation okay so in order to define the grid view we're going to say written grid 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 view dot count and the cross axis count so this is the one that decides your number of grid column and the yeah basically it defines your grid so instead of giving the number directly I want it to be very flexible so that in the portrait mode it displays certain number of grids and in the landscape it displays certain number of grids so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the orientation parameter I'm gonna check the orientation and if the orientation is equal to portrait then I say it should display two grids if not it should display three grids so this is the condition that I'm giving here and since this is my written it has to be a semicolon now next I'm gonna give this is personally my choice so I'm giving a cross axis spacing of 2 that is the spacing between the grid next moving on now since I want my grid to display certain images I've already loaded I've created a file called images folder and this folder contains images uh, six images and I've named it zero one two three four five just for the naming purpose so that I can loop through these images and You also have to specify those images in your pub specification file so that you can use them in your application So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a children and It's not a widget. It's a list a list which generates the length of the list is 6 and I'm gonna say index Okay, and um, inside my generator, I'm going to return an image asset. So it's going to loop through this image. So yeah, I'm going to specify my image folder, which is images image dollar index. So it's going to pick up. 0 1 2 3 and add to this string so that this way it loops through all the images in your images folder and the images have an extension jpg 
next i'm gonna give a width to the image of 200 and height 200 there you go okay since this is our return it has to be semicolon there's no comma here so your ending fine and then there you go so uh, all the braces are closed correctly now so it's so what I'm doing here is I have an orientation builder and I give a parameter called orientation and context. So I'm creating a grid view and the count value is nothing but if it is the portrait mode, it's going to take two grid values and if it's landscape, it's going to take three. And the spacing between those grids is two. And I'm going to generate this image file, which is image 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 since I didn't want to write all the images instead I named the image files and used the list generate method so that it generates the value 0 1 2 3 and this way I'm reducing the lines of code and now if you do a hot reload yeah so now if you look at the grid view you can see it's since it's in portrait mode it's picking up two columns and if I do the landscape mode yeah and if I do the landscape mode it has to pick three so that's what we have to find here in our function so this is how you create a grid view and display images or text or any any data of your choice thank you